Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And today I am in Luminar Neo. And to be clear, this is still a beta slash pre-release version, what they called a media version. Doesn't have all the functionality. It's not final, all that kind of stuff. Just wanted to make that disclaimer up front. But um, I've had it for a while. I've been playing with it. I've done a few videos about it, as you can see in that playlist. And in talking, or I should say in playing with Luminar Neo all this time and editing photos, there's a few things I wanted to talk about. And primarily that centers around Relight AI. I've done a video about it already where I showed kind of how it worked. And as I've used it more and more, I find that there's really three tools that I'm using with, uh, with Relight AI within Luminar Neo to really get the most out of Relight AI. It's a great tool, it's a great technology, it comes in really handy, but I find that it's not something I'm necessarily using by itself. It's complemented, I think, by these other tools. Let's take a look at it. So here's a landscape photo, and you know you might be tempted to go into Relight AI and to start moving the sliders around in order to you know, adjust the light. So maybe you wanna bump up the foreground light a little bit and then drag that depth up further into the photo and maybe increase the brightness a little bit far, or whatever it might be. Um, but I find it doesn't really get me everything that I want and that I get better results when I do other things first. And so the first tool that I'm using with Relight AI is of course, Develop. So I'm gonna click into that and go in here and I'm gonna do kind of the basic things that I always do, right? So a little bit of contrast increase, pull down the highlights a little bit, bump up the shadows. You know, I'm really just balancing out that exposure a little bit. Maybe you can go into curves and do a slight S curve just to add a slight bit more contrast if you like. Go into color and I talked about this uh, this develop tool in that video as well if you wanna check that out. But you know, really what I wanna do is just kinda of bump up the colors a little bit, get this image looking the way I want it to look and frankly kinda of how I remember it. I think that's a lot closer representation of kinda of what I saw and it's certainly closer to what I'm trying to do with the photos. Now that I've done that, I think it's useful to go into Relight AI and take a closer look at that. So, you know, in this case, I might give a little bit more bump into the brightness near and drag that depth up into the photo as well. So maybe something about like that, brightness far, maybe just a tiny, uh, actually, you know what? I actually think I'm gonna pull that down just a little bit. So it's a very subtle use of this tool. There it is before and there it is after. Very subtle, but it works for me. And the second tool that I use with Relight AI is Super Contrast. Because again, if you're familiar with Super Contrast and have seen my previous videos, you know that it's a great tool for just adjusting the light, which is, which is you know, really what we're doing. Relight AI, as the name implies, is about relighting your photo, adjusting the light in your photo. Super Contrast, develop, they both do a great job of that as well. So it's great to use these tools in combination, kind of in tandem. So I'm gonna come in and, you know, I don't really have a particular plan for what I wanna do here. I just kinda wanna show how I use these tools. I'm gonna come in here and check out this highlights. I think maybe something about like that. For the mid-tones, kinda like that. And then shadows, I think I'm gonna go uh, right up in there. So if I show you the before and after for super contrast, there it is before and there it is after, again very gentle, very subtle. I do see the spots in the sky. Those can be taken out automatically with the remove dust spots. I'm just not doing that in this video. You've seen demos. It's there. It's awesome. It works great. Um, so I've now got a much more balanced photo, which I like quite a bit. And this is where I might come in with the third tool that I was going to talk about, which is Accent AI. And that is simply because um, it's frankly a great tool still. But as I've talked about before, it does a lot of stuff. I think in the past, Accent AI was thought of as like a relight AI kind of thing. Hey, I'm gonna relight my photo, kind of like what Smart Tone used to do in previous versions of Luminar. But Accent AI is a lot more than that. So you have to be careful because if you start going to the right, you get higher contrast, higher saturation, a bigger variance in light. And while it can be dramatic like that, it's not gonna look that realistic. So uh, I'm gonna go back to zero here and I'm probably gonna go very light because I don't wanna go very far, you know, so 30 if you consider that light, but I think it does a good job of complementing the photo. So if I show you the before and the after, it's just a little bit of a touch. In fact, I think I'm gonna pull that down to about a 25 and go ahead and apply that. And so those are the three tools that I'm using with Relight AI to really perfectly, in my opinion, of course, hey, it's not a perfect photo, but in my opinion, I'm perfectly balancing the light by using Relight AI, but in combination with Develop and Super Contrast and Accent AI. 
And then from here, I might go in, maybe I'll go into color balance and do some color work just to bring up a little bit more pop in the sunset colors. This was a beautiful sunset taken in Colorado. Maybe I'd go into split toning and do something similar. It just depends. Uh, you know, your options are limitless, but I think really the first thing I do is balance my light, you know, get my canvas set up, balance my light, and then go kind of do the color work after that. And for me, the balancing the light definitely takes advantage of Relight AI but I'm also wanting to use Develop and Super Contrast and Accent AI slightly. Um, you know, all of those are fairly slight to, uh, to complement that. So that's what this was about, all about, just kind of showing you how you can combine and use additional tools with Relight AI to get the most out of it in your image editing. Hope it gives you some ideas. Luminar Neos, coming soon-ish. Uh, as soon as it's available, uh, you'll know. And um, until then, I'll make a few more videos about it. I just don't want to overdo it because as I said before, the user interface isn't locked. The, the product itself is not in final form. It's missing some filters. It's miss, missing some features. It's missing some things because it's a pre-release version. But hopefully this gives you an idea of what is coming. Thanks for watching, my friends. You guys take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next video. And until then, adios.